Well, hello there. So, I actually cannot believe what happened to me today, but I'm gonna tell you. So, a friend of mine had a computer shop, and he closed up, like, a month ago or so. And, well, I mean, the, the computer business is not what it used to be. Now, everybody uses, you know... Uh, smartphones and tablets and all that stuff or either that or computers which have everything soldered down so he closed shop and he just today he told me come to the shop uh, pick up whatever you want I need to get this thing empty by Monday so yesterday being Friday so fine I went there and well <laughs> Here's what I got. So let's get on to things. First of all, this. I could not believe <laughs> I got this from him. So that is, this is his old uh, Aten whatever. It is just a Chinese clone of something soldering station. It takes Hako tips, which is freaking amazing. That is the main reason why I was so amazed. And it's actually quite a decent soldering station. Uh, the hot air gun doesn't work at all. I don't do any SMD rework, so... Yeah, I don't really care about that. So yeah, that's amazing. The soldering iron works perfectly. That soldering station, finally. I was so tired of using that piece of crap right there. This. This thing. Doesn't even have temperature control. <laughs> I've been using that for 10 years. Finally, I have a friggin' soldering station with, like, changeable tips and stuff. Uh, let's see, next thing. Uh, external hard drive enclosures. Uh, tons of them. So, excuse the vibration thing that was my phone running out of battery. So, there's four here. They're all SATA. Four enclosures here. Another one here. This one's plastic, a little bit bigger. Another one here, and that's about it. I think these are actually pretty much the same, just in different boxes. Next thing I got, water cooling stuff. So I got a water block for, this is a no-name water block, but it is kind of universal, but it's sort of made for the Radeon HD 5870. More of that later. Let's see some memory here, some DDR2. I also got a reservoir, which... Eh, it's okay. It's an acrylic reservoir. Okay, doesn't. And that rad, which is a 240 millimeter rad, it's clearly aluminum. Aluminium, sorry. Uh, and it's it has some uh, bent fins. But I think the tubing is fine. I'll have to test it, but that will come in handy. I already have a CPU block and a. Uh, and a pump, so good. I got this heat sink. It's beat up and stuff, but I mean some heat. Uh, I mean, sorry, some uh, zip ties will take care of it. I got this sound blaster RG2. I do believe this one has a blown up amp in one of the outputs. Uh, not like I care. Uh, I can fix that with soldering station. I got this. Real HD Media Center, which isn't actually HD at all because it only has uh, composite output. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that'll come in handy for like, uh, I don't know. I'll probably hook it up to my bedroom TV. Well, I call it my bedroom TV. All of my stuff is my is in my bedroom, but you know, yeah, what else? Uh, let's get on with things. That's an iMac I got uh, some days ago. That's not related. It's completely empty, as you can see. I got these. I got six wireless earphone. Yeah, they're cheapo uh, wireless headphones. Not really that good at all. I'll give them away. I'm actually <laughs> I started giving them away already. I got two of these uh, Dell sound bars for Dell monitors. They actually follow the same design as my Latitude. Is pretty cool and yeah they have two headphone outputs They're pretty cool I got this uh, motherboard 
This is an MSI 890FXA GD70. Whatever, you know, it's just gaming, super, mega, ultra, military class, wow, fragged uh, noobs, and I'm pretty sure that is from the year 2000, but yeah, uh, I don't know what do people that are into PC games say these days. No clue. Okay, well, it's a Socket AM3 Plus motherboard. Grab a load of PCI Express slots, which might come in handy. Uh, this power supply, I think it's dead. It's a piece of crap, thermal tape, whatever. I got this uh, case, which is actually pretty good. Uh, I don't know what brand it is. But it is. It has some thick steel. It it looks like absolute shit. Like it it looks like rice or shit. But it is the build quality is pretty good. And then there's uh, what I like the most about this whole lot of things. So I got uh, you saw them already. But I got not one, not two, not three, not four. Not five, but six Radeon HD 5870s. And as far as I know, uh, all of them but one work perfectly fine. One of them has some capacitor issues. Uh, so one of the capacitors was ripped off in the PCI, one of the AC blocking, sorry, DC blocking capacitors. And it only works at X1, a PCI Express X1, but Six fifty-eight seventies. They're all one gig, except for this one. This is an Infinity X6 edition, which has six friggin' display outputs. It has two gigabytes of video RAM, and it's basically a beast of a card. I've always lusted for one of these, like since they came out. Like I remember seeing the Linus Tech Tips uh, unboxing video back when he did those unboxings in the parking lot like that was behind the NCIX warehouse and I remember lusting for one of these so bad so bad and I finally have one look at that it even has a metal backplate how cool is this and I got it for free granted so the fans don't work in any of these so you've already guessed uh, he had so many of these and like I remember him buying like 50 when they came out uh, because well he was into Bitcoin mining but when back when Bitcoin uh, could be mined with GPUs and yeah the fans are all dead including that one but they're fixable and I have fixed them I have gotten uh, 5870s from him uh, before and well I think that's pretty much it for the lot but like six freaking 5870s yeah that one doesn't have a heatsink but I don't care, I have a water block for it. <laughs> like, this is just ridiculous. Look at that. Like, the entire room is filled up with stuff. It's just ridiculous. So, yeah, and, and I really would like to try this one out. I think I think it's supporting in macOS, too. Not sure. Maybe it isn't, since it is PCI and all that. But, yeah, that's... That was pretty cool, so... Yeah. Uh, I hope to make some content with those. Uh, also, that case, I forgot to mention, it has an Athlon X2, Athlon 64 X2, it's nothing. Uh, so, I'm, I'm looking forward to making some content, some contents with these, uh, especially this one. Uh, I've always wanted to make a video about this card, uh, even though I never had it, and I think think I'm getting an upgrade into my video quality production thing. I'll, I'll be getting a little bit of an upgrade. Let's just say that I don't know yet how big of an upgrade it will be, but I know I'll, I'll be getting one. So, yeah, I, I think that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching. And also, if you... I know it sounds like begging, but if you liked this and you want to see the content and all that, do subscribe to the channel, um, I would like it, you know.